Uh, welcome again for our Friday video. And uh, surprise, surprise, we are going to have our ink, our new coming ink. Uh, this is available today. So it says that uh, uh, everyone brings home a little bit of uh, their work. Uh, Baker will bring a little bit of flour. I will bring a little bit of ink on my finger. <laughs> Well, not only, actually, uh, the truth is, you know, I have the lab at home, I have a studio, and uh, we do the large mixing there at our studio. We have all the bottles, all the inks, all the dyes, but we do a lot of things here. All the small volumes will be done in uh, New Orleans here in the French Quarter. So all you do need is a few baker beakers and a few of these little Pads, uh, uh, brushes, or uh, two pens, and diverse little uh, uh, writing instruments, and you need a pad. And of course, it starts like this. I mean, I roughly give you an idea. Basically, uh, I start with the, my basics, my basic colors are on top, and I have a Pantone color that could be helpful to use. And then I go down and I go down by putting more and more of another dye and so on and so on. So that's the way it goes until I really like it. Then I can fork off and then do another column and this is okay, I, I am good on the volume of that base plus the number two, in, I mean, but two dyes and that's, I go on to the third and, and so on. Uh, it, it's a really a rough idea. Um, I want, you know, I do it and I use brushes mostly to do the work. Um, this is the basic. I, I have to have a basic with brushing. Um, and then afterwards, when I'm really close, I can, uh, you know, write with um, mostly a glass pen, but I would take, of course, a fountain pen. So this is my little workbook, and I can relate to this all the time. I have about three or four of these all filled up. I use Rodia, so at least I have uh, the consistency of having all the same dye to be on the same paper. Now, I also try other papers to see how they look. This is what we are going for today. What is it going to be? Well. Some of you probably know already. We have iron lace. All right, the idea, well, black was too black, and our gray might have been too gray. So we are trying to create an in-between, something that will not be too pale for the extra fine, fine nails, let's say, and uh, something that will dark enough but not black with a, a little twist of character. Um, so that's the way uh, we started. And we, we have here our little samples. Can you see that? So I swapped it here and we're gonna show you how it's gonna look with others, all right? The, you know streetcar green, is that too low? So I'm not going it up. Perfect, okay, streetcar green, this is it. So we have Bio Nightfall, right there. Van Kipling Bio Nightfall that you know. You see how we are tendency to be a little bit on the green, very dark, right there. Um, we have, of course, the streetcar green, car green that's supposed to be green, obviously the Bayou Nightfall with some blue. We have the All Saints Day uh, right there, that's very pale. Uh, the brush will have been on the bottom and a Q-tip right there. And we have the Retired Da Blue right there. And we have here Oyster Grey. I'll let you take a little bit of that, and of course, our black. You're gonna say, well, it's, it's very close. Well, no, black, eye black will have a little bit of sheen. It's really a lot of 
ink on the paper um, and it doesn't show so much sheen obviously because it's a mix uh, with a partly uh, black in there and we are going to show you actually what it did uh, with chromatography is that good all right so what I kind of surprised I have a little bit of um, because at first you didn't show me this yellow until you came up so we have some violets and yellows and some very very um, bright blues there same on the back you see voila perfect perfect so I did that a minute ago and now that we have all that we are going to bring down the cards and white with it And I had to redo some of the cards because a lot of our customers are using them and flip them around. And so what happened, they were greasy and um, the color would not show up uh, at all. And so let me grab my pad, my favorite pad. And put my big oil there. So we have a classic from uh, Creo Scribbent, uh, but it's a gold nib fine um, here. Yeah, definitely. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, it. It just didn't register right away, but more and more now that I'm trying it, um, I really like the fact that the idea was was really going to the right direction not to have so black and um so you see that here we have um definitely a more intense uh black uh, because i'm using a gold nib 14 carat this is another a clear equipment an aura um and um dragons uh the dragon scales from, uh, I have a question. And, I have yeah. a question. So the one with the dragon skin is the black yeah. ink. It, no, it is actually not. It is actually the iron lace. Iron okay. Lace. It looks so black. Um, definitely because these needs are gushy. So you're probably mm. going to be less inclined to see the difference uh, between our black, let's say, uh, and uh, iron lace. But you, we are totally seeing it with a smaller nib uh, definitely and I should probably have a black uh, to show you the difference but it's never easy on a camera than on a real life huh? um, I did press a lot and if I right. so a black without being a black you know a gray without being a gray um, voila. You know, um, Patrick, if uh, people are going to be using these in a lot of different lights, yes, different lights so yeah. I'm just going to go and turn off our warm lights okay. so you can see what it looks like, but you can still play around on that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So I can take my and see what happened with my little so if I put a lot I can see some blue coming up uh, and if I uh, swap more my brush I would see this this gray blue coming up but I, I have this purple that we've seen here on this uh, that's coming up uh, when I put a lot of ink and obviously it shows up a lot more um, so uh, I'm sorry that that chromatology is yes. for the iron lace this is iron lace. oh okay yes. it's beautiful <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is iron lace yes definitely does it shows anything 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see the color a lot better now. It's beautiful. So.